Yo! Hi everybody, uh, this is AB. I'm here today in this amazing looking town called Bury St. Edmunds. Uh, I think the locals uh, call it uh, just Bury. Uh, I just arrived, never been here before. It is in uh, Suffolk. And let me tell you, this place is amazing. So, yeah. Uh, I'm here for the day. And yeah, we'll see how we get on here. So, I think the police station is this way. We're definitely gonna audit that. In the meantime, I'm just enjoying the this town, honestly, it's just, it's something else. It's like uh, somebody drew this. Look at it. Sorry guys, I keep, uh, yeah, <laughs> I keep going to different places. Uh, I will go back and, uh, and check it all properly later. But yeah, you won't see uh, you won't see any litter on the floor. Everything is clean. Everything is spotless. And look at it. Anyway, yes, yeah, so there we are, guys. Uh, we made it outside uh, Bury uh, Police Station or Bury St. Edmunds. Says he keep off the grass. And uh, yeah, what's all this? Who's that? Inspector Andrew. BB No idea what's all that about So yeah so I'm just gonna film around so. Hi buddy Can I help you? No no What's Sorry? What are you up to? Not a lot, what are you up to? I'm um just, what's going on? Nothing. Taking videos of the station for? Sorry? Taking videos of the station. Just down. It's um, yeah, but you, you shouldn't take pictures of a, a police station. Why? It's um, you, you can film in public places, but not on the. Not oh, on the sorry. Station. Sorry. Now what? Police station. Just doing the public place. That's fine. Not a police station. Okay. So what happens now? Um. There's some sort of legislation. Let me check my side. I don't, I don't know it off the top of my head, but I'll check it for you. Okay. Okay, bear with me a second, buddy. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll be here. So, while uh, the officer is checking the legislation, uh, what's legislation again? Was it? Oh, I wanted to play stupid and then. Uh, Hey, quick question now, sir. What's the legislation for the police station filming a filming a public building? Can you put it loud so I can hear it? Yeah, I'm wrong, mate. So. Yeah, I know you're wrong. I was surprised there. You didn't know that. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. I'll, 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 yeah, sorry, mate. I was wrong. Oh, that's I okay. Wrong. I just apology thought, I accepted. Th I thought for some reason I thought there was something there, but there's not. Um, the only the only thing that we need to be careful of yeah, is, yeah. is just not the, the private car park. That's all. Well, what I'm going to do, I was going to ask you. I yeah, see yeah. that that piece of grass over there, and I see yeah. that like the, your parking is very well exposed from the back. 
the car park is yeah yeah, yeah. so how do i access the back the back yeah. i believe that's um all fenced off the back, no the back no no area. behind the fence you'd have to probably cross a river mate cross but a river I, I, yeah. <laughs> swim a river there's like a <laughs> yeah there's like right. a, a river that runs through yeah, yeah. like right the way through um but i don't think you'd be able to because i think this side is fenced i'll find a way i'll find a way because yeah that's what i'm here for i'm gonna film anything that's publicly accessible but, yeah but, i'm gonna like, access this, today this, this and behind, i'm gonna film it this here behind us is a private is a car park that's used by you know this is a private car park yeah but what you need to ask vehicles. yourself is it publicly accessible well no the thing is is you should you shouldn't really be accessing that part what did your sergeant say he said you can film like, anything that's publicly accessible police vehicles but private vehicles a private car park did he actually say that? He just said that. Oh, come on, he didn't. He did say he that. He said he can't film private ca cars? Private car park, yeah, no. I can film private cars all day if I wanted to. Private cars, yeah, but this is like a secure car park, isn't it? Sorry, secure? Yeah, well, it's not that secure, you can see. It's not if it's secure, publicly but... accessible, then it cannot be that secure. Okay. All right, so if it's, you know... But you... The, other, the other side, um, there's a, a road that leads around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you need to answer that? No, that's no, okay. There's a road that leads around past the rugby club. And I think there's like a little stream that runs between. Yeah, and yeah. that's kind of like your separation between the back and this side of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. No worries. Just look after that, mate. So right. anyway, remember, we can film in public. That's not what you said at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought there was some legislation or something in place, but I was wrong. Yeah, yeah. There is start this, I was getting confused with something else, I think. But I think it's a police building, so I don't know. Some other sort of building, I think, I don't know. Protected buildings. That's again, sorry? Like I protected buildings. I just building. thought, well, I thought maybe there is some sort of protected building. I didn't know if police stations were there. Is, there, there are protected buildings. But in a different Basically, sense. you cannot trespass. Yeah, got you. Yeah. yeah that's uh, you say, that. for example, the MI6. If you caught inside the well, MI6, yeah, well, that's, that's criminal. But I can still film it. Yeah. From yeah, any, from, from public and publicly accessible. Fair enough, mate, yeah. okay. Just remember that for the rest of your career. Thank you, yeah. Are we real? No All problem, right, officer. Yourself. What's uh, your shoulder number? It's 239, mate. And you are? I'm sorry? 132. 132. Thank you very much. Yeah? Take care. Have a nice day. Take care. Take care. So, that's that. Sorry, I've got to answer the phone, guys. Yeah, so I'm just going to walk uh, to the side door. All the curtains are closed. I must knew it was coming. Hey, PC 101. There you go, the hardest working constable in the country. Uh, everywhere you go, you see him. What an amazing constable. And that's his. <laughs> That's his cousin. <laughs> what the hell is that? No idea what this is. Three pound all day. Oh yeah. And uh, that's interesting. So you can uh, you get to the back of the station for me. Yeah. Sorry? What do you mean? Just saw you going along there. No, you didn't. What are you doing? What do you mean? You seem to be taking photos of all our vehicles. When did you see that? I just watched you. Did you? Yeah. I don't think you, you see him properly. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take a picture of you, mate. Hey? I don't think you can. You can't, you can't, I'm covered. It's called uh, being prepared. What? What is wrong with you? What, why, why are you taking pictures of me, man? Well, why are you taking pictures of police vehicles? Why are you taking pictures of me? Why are you taking pictures of police vehicles? Why are you a police officer? Are you? Why are you taking pictures of police vehicles? Are you a police officer? Right, I'll tell you what, I'm now going to phone our response team and I'm going to ask them to come out and talk. Are to you a police officer? I'm now going to get... Um, Abra's, you need brushing, man.
<laughs> uh, trying to take a picture of me. Like, you're so slow. I actually covered my. I've covered everything. Anyway. Right, guys. Uh, uh, Mr. Bushy Eyebrows, I don't think he's gonna come out again. So <laughs> just. They're my eyebrows. Oh my god. What the? Uh, yeah. I can't stop laughing at him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we gotta go back to the front. You came for me or? Or you came to take more pictures? Are you an officer? Hey! This guy's a bit weird though. I need to know if you're an officer. Yeah, you took a picture of me. I need to know your shoulder number now. Are you listening? Excuse me. You're a coward. Walking away like this. Now, do you know him? Who is he? He's someone that works here. Is he a police officer? No. What is he? Like police staff. I need the, do you know his shoulder number or name? Yes. Can I have it? Uh, why? Because he took my picture. Yeah. And I want to request that. I did ask him, can I have that? But he just legged it like a coward. Okay. Maybe go to the front desk and ask oh. them. Okay. Well, you asked me, can I help you? I know, but. Are you a police officer? No. Your staff as well? Yeah. Okay. So you, you don't know his name? But how, how can I ask him? I don't know who he is. Where do I start? How can I say what does he look like and all that? Actually, I've got his picture. Yeah. There yeah. You go. Silly me. Anyway, have a nice uh, day. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to take the advice uh, that lovely lady gave me. I'm going to go inside. I took a screenshot of the, of the guy. Uh, I'll go inside and uh, see if I can get his... Uh, Name or shoulder number. Is there anybody in there? No. Probably a good time to go in. Hi. Hi, are we, are we okay? Hi, you okay? Yeah, yeah, just a quick question. I was outside <clears throat> and somebody who seems to be working here, who I believe is staff, because one of the ladies confirmed his staff, okay. took a picture of me. Right, so I'm requiring either his name or his shoulder number so I can request the picture. Um, I, now I took his picture, that's this guy there. He's got like big uh, bushy eyebrows. Yeah, 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 you can have it. You can pass it on to you if you like. He's got like big bushy eyebrows. Do you know who he is? Um, he is a member of staff. So Could you give me like, I need his details so I can, because what he did, he took my picture. Okay. And I need to request that picture like as a, as a SAR, you know, SAR? I can't give you his details, no. I need to make a subject access request. Sorry, say that again. I basically need to make a subject access request for the okay. picture that he took. Right, okay. You can do that online. It's easier to do that online. Yeah, online. but how can I tell him who took the picture? Sorry, how can you... Okay, you can well, attach that online to it, to the request. Well, the picture? Yeah. What can I just have his shoulder number? He hasn't got, he hasn't got a shoulder number. They do. Staff he's usually do, don't they? Really. Staff usually have shoulder numbers, right? Uh, civilians don't. Not all civilians don't. Are you a civilian? Yeah, I'm a civilian. Do you have a shoulder number? No. Oh, right. Okay, so how... Say I've spoken to you now, how do I... How do I hold you accountable for this conversation? I, I would just tell you my name. All right, there you go. So what's his name? Only police officers and police community support officers actually have a shoulder number. Staff usually do as well. Well, we have an employee number. That's a different thing. Right. Do you have his employee number then? I, 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 I'm not going to give you my employee number. Not, he, you not yours. Number. I'm not interested in yours. His. Yeah. Yeah. Because all it is, like I said, he took my picture and I, I want to request that. It's my right to request it. So now I need it. Okay. Right. Just bear with me a second. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's not true. Some of the staff do have uh, do have numbers. Uh, in the meantime, uh, there's 
more information over here. How to report a victim of modern slavery. Mm. Well, that's a good one. How do I make a complaint about the police? Yeah, call the police. I don't think so. Guys, complaints about the police to the police are useless. We never do anything about them. So if it's something serious, civil claim is the only way. If it's uh, not as serious and you, you want to create some paperwork for them, then yeah, uh, complain to the police about the police. <coughs> it's, uh, speaking from experience, guys. Du, 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 du. Cocaine Anonymous. That's okay. Right, okay. I've just been speaking to the duty sergeant. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the person you took the photograph of is a civilian employee. Sure. Who's not obliged to give his details. Okay. I'm not obliged to pass them on. That's fine. But, um, his superior yeah. is Inspector Rebecca Webster. You can take that away with you. Yeah. So if you wanted to make your subject request online. Right. Or anything online. Um, that is his superior officer. So um, he can be identified uh, via her. So if you make a subject access request, um, they will know who you're talking about via her. I see. So what do I <clears throat> do? I just add his picture on it in there, or? Sorry, so again. Do, you... do I just like put his picture, or? Yeah. Because how how else will I explain myself who he is? Um, I mean. If you're not happy with the way that... No, 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 I didn't say I'm not happy. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, you know when you... I'm not, no, no, I'm not complaining about you. And I'm happy with, with the, the way you're dealing with me. Okay. Uh, you know when you, are, you make a subject access request? I've yeah. made it many times. Mm -hmm. the, they say you need to be very specific on the information that you want. Okay, yeah. so for me to be specific, I need to tell them today's date, yeah. the time, mm -hmm. and the person that took it. Yes. To tell them the person that took it, if I don't know who it is, it's, yeah. it's a bit okay. tricky. Well, you could refer them to the front desk. I know who that person in your photo is. They can ask me who it is and I'll tell them. So just say the front desk? Yes, I'm Sarah at the front desk. Okay. I'm the only Sarah at the front desk. Okay. So, you, so, so you I'll know, tell them Sarah, the only Sarah from the front desk. Yeah. 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 So um, oh. if you say on your access request, yeah. um, you don't have the name of that civilian employee. Sure. However, Sarah at the front desk um, served me on the day. Right. And she will be able to give you uh, who it is. You that person's name. Right, and I can always add this picture in there. I don't know why you may make it so complicated. Just his name would be would be perfect, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't make up the way that the website works and things, but um, yeah. That, that, okay, that's yeah. fine. It will work. We'll do that. We'll get that picture anyway, one way or another. Yeah. 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 It's just uh, you know he thinks he's too clever taking pictures. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, also if you do see him because you do know him, mm -hmm. tell him to shave his eyebrows. They're too bushy. Or, or brush them or something so, we, so he's at least he's presentable to the public. Anyway, have a lovely day, lady. Have I got an interest? Yes. What do you mean? And I mean this with yeah, yeah, go on. intentions. What the police do currently is yeah. a ride along scheme. So, what a person with an interest in the police can do, yeah. we've got an inspector, Andy Martin. Yeah. He's been doing it, I think, for two or three years. Write me the information, yeah. What you can do is if you provide details at yeah. whatever point you want to do, sure. you can apply to go on the ride along scheme. In the car? You have to be vetted, obviously, for yeah. security reasons. Sure. You can go along with him and you can form a really good insight into policing overall rather than obviously have your sort of snapshot. So I can understand that if you have an interest, yeah, yeah. Sure. If you have an interest, it's a way in to just, you know, probably just find out more. Okay. So that's just an option. We'll do that, yeah, that's fine. There's different ways of doing things. Yeah, it is, yeah. it's a good way.
because obviously people will form an opinion of policing when they don't have a true insight. So it's always a really good thing. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, that's I fine. Have 32 years of insight, so I sort of feel I've got an important. Have you been working for the police for 32 years? 32 years. Yeah. Oh my God. So therefore, we need all different types of people in hope that we can make them happy and not be too obstructive. So that'd be great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's, uh, he's had promotion recently. He's now Chief Inspector. Chief Inspector. Yeah, I remember when he started as a PC. That makes me feel old. Right, okay. Well, thank you very much, ladies. You've been oh, great. Like I said, I'm happy with the service you provided me. Excellent. It's just, uh, you know, I just needed to... Uh, we love hearing you posted that. Happy with the service you provided. That What's that? Good, that? Yes. Have you heard of a channel called Audit in Britain? You must have heard about it. Sorry, yeah. again? Have you heard of a channel called Audit in Britain? No. no. Really? Auditing? Britain. Is that online, is it? Yeah, on YouTube. Oh, YouTube, okay. Yeah, check it out now. We'll have a look. If you like. So, yeah. What made you want to do auditing then at the police stations or whatever it is? Uh, just for the public are interested in it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why I think Ride Along served a really mm. good purpose for you. Yeah, yeah, but... Well, the true one, I don't know if it's true one because it's kind of prepared, it's planned. Yeah. Okay. We'll try it. All right. Thank you, ladies. Have a nice uh, afternoon. <laughs> well, the ladies were especially, uh, especially the second one, the tall one, because. Uh, it's very nice. Yeah, exactly what we need. Look at that. Uh, yeah, they didn't want to give me his name. They gave me the name of an inspector. And they want me to go on the ride along like a five-year-old. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Yeah. Uh, send me there. Send me all that rubbish. <laughs> you think I'm Channel 5? I ain't Channel 5, man. Anyway, let's get out of here.